Hi everyone, this is Jerome Nolvan. Today we're going to talk about a new topic in econometrics. It is the multiple linear regression. So of course you see the word multiple, which means that there is more than one explanatory variable that is added to the model. So first, let me distinguish between multiple linear regression and multivariate linear regression. So the multiple linear regression simply means that you have one dependent variable that depends on many regressors, so many predictors. The multivariate means that you have many dependent variables that depend on many explanatory or independent variables. But here we're concerned with the multiple linear regression, which is one dependent variable depending on many explanatory variables. But my focus will be mainly on how to perform a linear regression with two explanatory variables. Why two? Because two is the max pretty much you can do by hand. When it comes to three, you cannot do that by hand. The calculations will never end. So the, it's better to use Excel or whatever statistical model you, you use for your regressions. So we are going to focus on only two uh, explanatory variables. So in that case, the model would be written as the following y equal beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 plus the standard error this is the equation we will be focusing on today but this is just the general equation for the multiple linear regression that's the general formula but this is the formula we're going to use today and today we're just going to learn how to understand the data set for two explanatory variables and how to get uh, all the variables, uh, all the, the observations, sorry, that we need in order to determine the values for each slope. So, as you know, y is the dependent variable, beta 0 is the intercept, beta 1 is the coefficient for uh for the first explanatory variable beta x1 is the first explanatory variable beta 2 is the coefficient for the second explanatory variable x2 is the second explanatory variable and then when you see for instance bn it means that it depends on the amount of regressors that you added to your model but yeah and then you have of course the standard error so when you look at now the, the standard data set for two explanatory variables, you have, of course, uh, y, you have x1, x2, and then you have x1 squared up, you have also x2 squared up, and then you multiply x1 times y, x2 times y, and then x1 times x2. So here we're going to determine the uh the values that we need in order to actually calculate the slope we're not going to calculate the slope today we're going to calculate or to i'm going to show you how to to calculate the slope next week so today we're going to simply determine the values of the coefficients that's what we're looking for so we start with of course you see here it's a, a mini x mini x1 squared equals the sum of uh, x1 squared minus the sum of x1 the total of x1 here squared up is different here it's not a two it's not the same thing it is different here over the number of observation in your data so we can proceed from uh, the same for uh, x2 we're going to do the same here x2 squared so the summation of the values of x2 minus the sum of x2 here the sum that you told you squared up total over the number of observation and then we're going to move to the same thing we're going to do the same here for x1 times y equals the summation of x1 times y minus 
the summation of x1 times the summation of y over n. And then you are going to do the same for the x2 times y. So here you do x2, uh, so summation of x2 times y equals the summation of the values of x2 time y, times y minus summation of x2 times summation of y over the number of observations, so over the number of n. And then you're going to do the same for x1 times x2, which is so summation of x1 times x2. So to calculate the coefficient, to determine the values of the coefficient that we're going to use for the slope. So we do summation of x1, x2 minus summation of x1 times summation of x2 over the summation over sorry the number of observation so this is pretty much the calculations that you have to do before you even start writing the formula of the slope for beta 1 and for beta 2 so yes so this is the formula that you have to this is the calculations that you have to go through before you can even write the formula of these two uh of these two coefficients and then once you're able to do that now you can write the formula of the intercept so this is what we're going to do next week but the reason why I'm teaching you guys how to do the multiple linear regression by hand is because it's important to know how to do these things even though today we use the computer to perform uh, all of our calculations it's still relevant to know the mechanism of these operations because it demonstrates that you actually understand what you're doing because if you just rely on the computer to do everything you just don't know you're focusing a process without even understanding how the process works and more importantly the multiple linear regression is actually the kind of linear regression that is used the most in econometrics the simple linear regression is rarely used because we assume in in economics that there is not just one factor that affects another factor there is one factor that is there is a let's say one phenomenon that is affected by many factors many factors so it is almost it is almost non-existent to see in econometrics econometricians using only one only like the simple uh, linear regression it's always at least this or even that like more than two explanatory variables so these are the calculations that you have to do in order to determine the coefficient of uh, the coefficients of the two variables and then as I said next week we are going to now calculate uh, we're going to determine the value. We're going to show you how to calculate the slope of uh, beta 1 and the slope of beta 2. And then based on that, we can now determine x1 and x2. And then I'm going to show you also the operation for uh, for the standard deviation, uh, standard error, sorry. So yes, uh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, it was uh, pretty intense, but uh, I'm looking forward to teach you guys how to calculate the slopes next week.